Hi, welcome to this tutorial on what we mean by factorizing. Well, to appreciate this, what I've done is given you two expressions here. And if you had something like this, you'd be asked most probably to expand them. Okay, so if we take the first one, I'm assuming you're familiar with expanding brackets, we would have done 2x times 4x, which gives 8x squared and 2x times the minus 3 which would have given minus 6x. And with this one if we were asked to expand these brackets here we would have done x times x which is x squared x times minus 2 which would have been minus 2x then we do minus 3 times x minus 3x and minus 3 times minus 2 which is plus 6 and we would have simplified this one Okay, we'd have had x squared, we'd have grouped the x terms together and got minus 5x and plus 6. So this is expanding, but what is factorizing? Well, it's the opposite of expanding. So that means that if we were asked to factorize, say, 8x squared minus 6x, what would it be when factorized? Well, it's got to be this expression here, 2x bracket 4x minus 3. And if we were asked to factorize x squared minus 5x plus 6, if we had that, x squared minus 5x plus 6, when it's factorized, it's the opposite of expanding something, which would have given us this, and it would have been x minus 3 times x minus 2, as you can see up here. Now, I just want to first of all show you what we mean by factors. What we've got here is first of all two terms in this expression. So in factorized we create one term made up of several factors. Our one term here is made up of the factors, let's just write them in, factors 2, then the x because we're doing 2 times the x, times another factor 4x minus 3. Three factors. The factors then are 2, x and finally in brackets the 4x minus 3. Three factors. Now with this one we had one, two, three terms and we created again one term made up this time of two factors. The x minus 3 being multiplied by the other factor x minus 2. So we've got down here that the factors are x minus 3, we can put that in brackets if you like, and the other factor x minus 2. Two factors then. So when we factorize something, it's the inverse then of expanding a bracket. And what we do is we create one term, okay, made up of several factors. Okay, now in the tutorials which follow I'm going to show you how you factorize then various expressions and there's different types of expressions but we first start off by doing what we call the HCF type, highest common factor type. Okay, well, I hope you look at those tutorials if you want to know how to factorize expressions.